This morning, my daughter is making her lunch and as she does every day, and she's getting her stuff together for school. And for whatever reason, maybe she'd gotten behind or something. It's already a little fuzzy. Uh, she's explaining to me why she has so many concerns and cares and, and worries in the world as it pertains to getting herself ready for school in the morning. That's like her favorite topic, are the things that are bothering her. And as a parent of someone who is not quite a teenager, I do realize that in just like 18 minutes, she's going to stop wanting to tell me anything, so I should just enjoy this. I tell her, all I do is worry. That's like 85% of my day is worrying about things. Worrying about myself, worrying about my business, worrying about my daughter, worrying about my wife, worrying about all these things in the world. And I just kind of have to like keep that to myself because it's not my daughter's problem <laughs> that I'm worried about all these different things and that I have a certain amount of concern for these people that it's, in, in my mind, it's my job to take care of these people. These are my people. All of that is to say that I can assure you, you do not know the extent of what the people around you are going through. You do not know the full extent of the cares and concerns that they show up to work with or they show up to a play date with or whatever. Um, so when you're dealing with people, uh, just realize that you know a sliver, you know a part of what it's like to be them and what is going on in their world and there's much more below the surface. So when someone has a reaction that you don't expect or when someone seems burdened by something you don't understand, it's probably because of exactly that. You don't understand it. And so be gracious with the people around you. Be willing to assume the best about the people around you. Man, I tell you what, that's a secret sauce. The two things that make my relationship with my wife better across the board are one, uh, saying thank you for things that just seem ridiculous because it's nice to hear thank you. And two, assuming the best. There's some magic sauce when you assume the best about the people around you. Um, so, I don't know. That's just like what I'm kind of like, what's floating through my brain today. It's like, we all have these worries and some of us talk about them a lot and some of us are dealing with them in more private and quiet ways. But everybody's going through stuff and as soon as you think your worries are more important, that's broken. And as soon as you think that you really fully understand what everyone else is going through because you have some sort of extended enlightenment, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know what people are going through. So be kind, be gracious, assume the best.